Dozens of volunteers from the American Heart Association headed to Columbus tomorrow. They will present information to lawmakers that they say could save hundreds of lives every year. It would make CPR training a requirement for students before graduation, something Cincinnati Country Day says they've been doing now for years. I learned my freshman year and then we'll also learn again my senior spring. Will Cohen is now a senior who will recertify in CPR this year before graduation. As this training video, courtesy of the American Heart Association, shows, CPR, or cardiopulmonary resuscitation, can help save the life of a person in cardiac arrest until paramedics arrive. Cohen School requires high school students to get this training as part of what Stephanie Luby says is a strong academic education. But we really think about the whole student um, and they're helping them negotiate the world and being strong and being able to help others. So this fits really well with our mission. Joanne Noyes would like to see CPR training as part of every school's mission. We all have loved ones, people that we care about, um, teammates, mom and dad, anyone. And if they collapse from a sudden cardiac arrest, don't we want to be able to help them? So Noise is part of a team of volunteers presenting the American Heart Association's National CPR High School Training Initiative to lawmakers around the country. Twenty states have committed to it so far. Those supporting this initiative point out that CPR has gotten easier than ever these days and they use models like this and support chest compressions only. They would like it to be a requirement before every high schooler graduates that they are certified in CPR. Cohen School began making CPR certification mandatory after they lost a teacher to sudden cardiac arrest. Um, everyone realizes that it, it can happen just, just about anywhere. But it really just kind of solidifies even if you don't use it, you have it. You can be helpful in a situation as opposed to being helpless. Now there is a petition you can sign if you'd like to help support this initiative. You can sign it at local12.com. And as you saw me holding there, these are these new simpler mannequins that you can teach others with. And believe it or not, what the reason they promote this is it's just chest compressions. Yeah. You don't have to do mouth to mouth. But if you are willing to train five people, the Heart Association with support from TriHealth will send you one of these so you can all learn, which really? is really the interesting part at no charge. Nice. And that's why, you know, I know it's, you know, kind of seems simple. This is Andrew, by the way. You know, we named him and whatnot, but it will help you just remember instinctively what to do if somebody goes down. And this can be enough. Just this can be enough, but it's done. It's a, it's a pretty, it's, on, it's done to staying alive. Staying alive, staying alive. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. See, those are snow. But it's, it's supposed to be that rate. And if you do that rate for every minute until the paramedics arrive, you can save lives and they can prove it. Wow, that's yeah. great. Cool oh, stuff. Thank you. Nice I know. Stuff. I've always wanted to sing on TV. I don't sing either. It was beautiful. It was <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Great day, my friend. We'll, we'll replay that later on.